But let me give you an example of uh, some work I did uh, with Pepsi. Um, believe it or not, it's actually really hard to make Cheetos. I had some experts come to me when uh, back when I worked at Microsoft and from Pepsi Snack Foods. They said, well, I think we might need AI to help with this. And I said, that's interesting. Well, what's hard about making Cheetos? They said, well, it's difficult to get the Cheetos to come out right, the right length and the right curl and the right diameter um, based on the things that change. I was like, okay, what kind of things change? Well, depending on where you grew the corn, it's going to have a different amount of water in it. It's going to have a different amount of fat in it. And you're not going to be able to measure that. And so an expert operator over much, much, much experience will be able to say, oh my goodness, that's some really wet corn. And then as they're continually adjusting this machine, they'll make the adjustments you know, in real time on the fly. And that's just a few of the things that are different. But what it points out is one of the most difficult things about automation is what do you do when conditions change? And that's one of the superpowers of autonomous AI or AI-based automation is the ability to better adapt to change.